about a very short video, just how to launch Fury from your SAP GUI. I'm going to show you that. And I'm planning certain videos on uh, different uh, transactions. So even I mentioned about in, there are already two, three videos available on Fury, uh, how we are testing on Fury. At the high level, the screen feels at least 70 to 80% similar to our GUI transaction. Okay. So if you come to SAP and you can give this transaction, okay, you can see here, uh, slash UI2 slash FLP, SAP Fury Launchpad. So you come to directly, you can uh, click here, otherwise you can input in the menu. So once you click on that uh, Fury Launchpad, system will ask you to input the user ID and password. So input your user ID password of SAP login or whatever ID system or what you are using. So system will launch you to the, the launch pad, which will have a different tiles of, uh, see here, production execution and monitoring, demand driven, predictive material, production master data display. So if you check it at routing, soft floor control and manufacturing execution so here it is in the production engineering and that's why you're all seeing those kind of things and here if you click on uh, advanced planning demand driven so if you click on sap Okay, you can click on the home and uh, check all the related to the, the apps which are assigned to your area, okay? So based on the roles which are assigned, you can access those kind of uh, different data. So if you are a purchasing department, the purchasing related transactions will be assigned. If you are a finance, finance related transactions are assigned. So you can manage what kind of uh, access you need it and what kind of... Uh, data you are going to access it. So for example, in-house internal orders, invoice, maybe we wanted to search for the procurement. So that area I should don't have. Maintenance, sales group, sales contracts. Purchase orders. Okay, if you select the purchase order, you will see the uh, details related to purchase order here. So what are the different purchase orders available? So if you click on that PO, you will see the purchase order display. So anyway, these are the how our current authorization roles are available, which transaction code you need to access, right? In similar way, uh, here, uh, what all transactions you need to access and uh, how to verify the details. So those things will be managed based on the authorization. So this is about how to access uh, Fairy and uh, making the bookmarks and getting access and, and assigning that respect to objects and all that we can uh, manage and uh, go to the transactions, whichever you wanted to test. So that's it uh, for a simple navigation to Fairy. And later you can uh, make your app finder and what are the different apps you wanted to use it. So that will be helpful for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for your time. And uh, see you with another video. Thank you.